Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another video for you guys. I'm so sorry that it's taken so long in between each video. I promise you guys I do film videos, but I just hate them. I don't know what it is I'm going through right now. It would take me so long to film a video and then I would film it and then I would hate it. As you guys could see, I'm filming on another background from my previous two videos. So I wanna kinda address that first because this is my makeup room, pretty much my beauty room. It's where I have my personal makeup. I do my hair in this room. Pretty much all the stuff that I do beauty-wise, I do in this room. But I have another part that is a studio, I call it. So the other two backgrounds is what you guys were seeing. So that's where if I have a client at home, I don't know if you guys know, but I am a makeup artist, but if I have a client that comes to my house, um, that's where I would go. And that also house all my professional makeup products. So I was filming over there, but then I realized also too, because I'm not always over on that side of the, the house, I'm most of the time in my beauty room, I just thought that I should film in this beauty room. Also, a lot of you guys know that I recently moved, or not recently, but I have moved moved within the last year, and this is the paint color, green, lime green. So I hope it's not too bright for you guys, but I think that if I have everything in one location, it will be better for me because I can just sit down and do my makeup and film it and be done with it and call it a day instead of lugging things from my beauty room over to my studio to film. So long intro, but I wanted to say that because this background is pretty bright, I don't mind it so much, but I just wanna address it for a lot of the people that probably is thinking that I moved again. Anyways, we're here to talk about Rihanna's foundation. Um, I don't know if you guys even wanna see another Rihanna Fenty Beauty video, but I had such a hard time trying to find my shade that I wanted this video to be about that. Now the foundation does come with 40 shades as you guys already know, but I think with more shades makes it more difficult to locate your exact shade, which with such an extended range, it only makes sense to try to match your complexion as perfect as possible. Okay guys, so I started off with about two pumps of 370 on the back of my hand. And then I'm gonna go in and add two mini pumps of the shade 390. Now, I am also gonna show you guys what 370 looks like on its own, um, but I was just so attracted to the shade 390 that I really wanted to give it a try mixed with the 370. At this point, I do think that that part or that mixture fits me better than 370 by itself, but I can definitely get away with wearing 370 right now by itself without adding that shade in. Um, and I'm gonna use a beauty blender to blend this side, and then I'm going to switch for the other side to see what the brush that I pretty much use all the time to do my foundation, how that would look in terms of texture and coverage. So that is what it looks like with just one layer, but I am definitely gonna go in and add a second layer. Okay. 
So as you guys could see, the foundation definitely is a buildable coverage. You can definitely build it up to full coverage, but upon initial application, I would say it's a medium coverage foundation. Um, you can do straight away, you know, more than two pumps and get a full coverage look right off the bat. But I like to build my coverage instead of just going on with a full um, full coverage because I do think that in that case it is going to look cakey on anyone's skin. So for this side I'm going to use my 957 Delium Tools uh, foundation brush to blend the foundation. I do want to acknowledge the fact that with the brush I do think that it was a little stiffer to blend on the skin and I think with the sponge it, because it's wet it does make the foundation lay a little smoother and it does make it look a lot more flawless on the skin so I will continue to <laughs> did you guys see how I got foundation in my hair just there but anyways I will continue to use this foundation with the sponge um, because I do prefer the finish of the sponge rather than with my kabuki brush. And that is what it looks like as you guys could see on the left hand side I was a little warmer than the um, right hand side. I'm talking my left looking at the screen right now which is definitely going to be your left. When I first apply the foundation it's going to be about an hour and a half to two hours till I come back to do my concealer and contour. I started the video, I applied the foundation, but I had an appointment to go to. I went to my appointment, I know, with just foundation, came back and I, was sh I showed you guys how it looks once it's dry and it's been on my skin for a while. So you're gonna notice two things. The foundation does look darker and two, there's no oils to be seen on my face. The, the foundation to me in my mirror looked exactly the way it did when I first put it on. Now I do have combination skin, so I'm normal to oily. Um, so in a situation like that, typically at least my nose would be a little bit shiny. But with this foundation, it sets so well that I didn't feel oily and it didn't appear oily at all. Right now it's 5.30 and I've had this foundation now for three hours. I'm gonna try to push for 10.30 so we're gonna give it a full day's wear. The next thing I purchased was the contour stick. I got the shade Truffle and I will say I do like the contour stick. Upon this base with the primer. Did I mention that I did purchase the primer? So this is what the primer looks like. Mind you guys, there was no way I was gonna buy the foundation without buying the primer because I feel like the primer is a very important step with this foundation. The primer is a cross between a moisturizer and a primer. Um, and I was in the market for a primer anyway, so I felt what is the best thing to do than to purchase something I could use every single day in this collection. So I got the primer. Back to the contour stick. I feel like the contour stick is a little too stiff for my liking. Um, I like the ease of use and the fact that it's in a stick so you can apply it and you can blend it out. But I feel like upon this foundation, it just doesn't move unless you apply it and blend it out. Because the foundation is a set-in foundation and the stick is not the creamiest of texture, when you put that on top of the foundation, it just it's just a little bit more, it's hard, it's not as pliable. Like you need something that's gonna blend out and give you a nice, smooth contour um, that kind of, you know, seamlessly blend into your foundation. And I don't feel like this stick does that for me. So the highlighter that I purchased is called Mean Money and Hustla Baby. And I wasn't gonna get any of the highlighters to be honest with you. I certainly was not gonna get Trophy Wife, like no. And I just, I see it as an oversized eyeshadow. Like there was just no way that was gonna go on my cheeks. I'm sorry, once again, Rihanna is not gonna make me walk outside looking like a disco ball or a something else. Like, I think editorial wise, it's beautiful. I think on the eyes, it's beautiful, but I don't know if that was even made for 
highlight. I think it's one of those novelty um, products that you buy just because it's a part of the collection and it's a fun product to have in your makeup collection. You look at it, you might use it a couple times on the eyes, you swatch it. It's just one of those fun products. But I don't buy makeup for fun. I buy makeup to use and the more use I can get out of it, the better. So I ended up going with this me money hustler baby highlighter once i swatched it in store because i love the hustler baby part of this highlighter now the me money i think that if your tan medium skin tone would look gorgeous on you as a subtle highlight because it does have still a quite a golden background but it's in more of a powder um base as opposed to the section hustler baby that is all shimmer all shine all bam in your face crazy creamy beautiful and this is what i love my highlighter to be i don't like my highlighter to look dry like it's sitting on my face i love it to be glowy and i love it to almost look like it's been on for a couple hours and my oils are setting in and it's just glowing like you're seeing that glow and it looks like it's a liquid highlighter that's what i'm getting with hustler baby on my skin tone that hustler baby side can we get that in a full size rihanna because i think that is very 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 beautiful and it's probably going to be one of the top sellers in the collection i also picked up the precision makeup sponge and this was a no-brainer for me even though i have quite a few um, beauty blenders I was completely drawn to the makeup sponge I was so curious to know that if they took the time to design the sponge I wanted to know how good this sponge was gonna be like I wanted it to change my life and I think it I think it did a bit like this is honestly an easily this is honestly an easy replacement for the beauty blender sponge and what I mean by that is that I mean if you go to Sephora and you are looking for something different this is a this is a such an easy buy like it's such a beautiful sponge it's I would say a little softer than the beauty blender sponge and it blends really nicely so if you want to kind of break away from the typical beauty blender i mean come on we are i think we as a beauty community is so addicted to our beauty blender that it's so hard to even think about replacing it with another sponge but i do think that this is a nice change so compared to the beauty blender i would say they're roughly about the same size when they're dry and they're roughly about the same size when they're wet of course considering the fact that this has a flat side and the beauty blender doesn't and this also has a um pretty much the tip is gone there's no tip on this one but it didn't really affect how i apply my concealer or even my foundation to be honest i use the booty side or the fatter side to apply my foundation and i flipped it and use sort of like this side this way to apply my concealer once again this is an easy replacement for the beauty blender and i know that's saying a lot and that's to show you guys how much i like this sponge because it's just so nice and soft and it's different as far as skin type with this foundation i would say it's not meant for people with drier skin and if you have oilier i mean normal skin and you prefer your foundation to have a satiny or a sheen to it you're also not going to get it with this foundation after i apply this foundation my concealer I didn't have to even set it like it powder was optional because it already sets itself like it already felt dry I would say the best skin type for this foundation is if you are normal to oily or just full oily in order for this foundation to have that natural oils that we have that would make it look you know more skin like anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was helpful for you if you 
are not close to a Sephora for you to go in and test the shades and experiment with them until you find your perfect shade like I did then I hope this video could help you and the swatches could help you kind of nail down what your color would be and if you are close to a Sephora keep this in mind when you do go to the store you know get samples of your top three shades take it home and try it out and see exactly how they dry down on your skin in order for you to be able to determine what your exact shade is. The foundation is definitely a pro filter foundation. It does look flawless on the skin, especially after wearing it for a few hours. Um, it's almost like the more you wear it, the more beautiful it gets. Um, but I will definitely try to keep you guys updated on the wear time. If not, I will leave it in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.